Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode <laughs> of my survival Minecraft series. <laughs> I knew this was a bad idea. I thought I would give it a shot. It didn't work out so well. Uh, hi, we're in the nether. Let me, let me get out of F5 so I can see where I'm going. You might be wondering why am I running through the nether right now as my intro to this video? This doesn't seem very safe. Why would you make choices like that? Uh, the reason is because in between episodes I have made a nether pathway to go get some camels. <laughs> That's our main goal for this week. We met, saw a camel for the first time in the last episode and I want one. I want two actually so that I can have more than two in the future. So. I made a nice nether pathway out back to the desert. I found two camels at two separate villages. So our first mission of the day is going to be to collect them and rescue them and drag them all the way through this somewhat unsafe nether pathway. While I was digging this pathway, I was actually really surprised to find another nether fortress. <laughs> it This pathway cuts directly through another nether fortress, which if you remember from earlier on in this series, ow, rude. If you remember from earlier on in the series, I spent so long looking for a nether fortress. I, I spent hours upon hours hunting for a nether fortress and could not find one. And there was one just a few hundred blocks away. So a little bit annoyed that I that I didn't find it earlier and I had to find one that was much further away but at least I have it now I can I think there's a blaze spawner up there so I can make a blaze farm nice and close to my home it's fine all right here's our first camel our first one is right next to the portal what I'm gonna do though is I'm gonna go get the other camel which is over that way I didn't bring an ender chest, so I am just gonna have to walk. <laughs> oh well, it's it's not too far. So you're gonna sit tight here. I'm gonna go get your new friend, and then we're gonna bring you both back together. All right, here's our second camel. I yeah, I, I put them both in holes. <laughs> just to keep them safe until I got back. All right, now I did bring saddles with me, but the thing is, is that camels are kind of really slow. Uh, I mean, they do have the, the forward leap, which is a bit faster, but just walking, I don't think they're that fast. So we're probably just gonna use a lead, but I'm gonna jump on this one in a saddle real quick, just to get the full experience. <gasps> oh! Aren't you handsome? Look at that. Oh, okay. Let's, yeah, let's, let's go. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if you noticed the subtitles there, but uh, a friend of mine specifically requested that I jump <laughs> on a camel in this episode. Uh, yeah, the camels yeet. Yeah, okay. This 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 guy is this guy's pretty slow. I'm going to I'm going to just lead him. No, 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 no. Come back. Come on. This way. I'm not going to lie. I am I am nervous about taking these guys through the Nether. <laughs> I'm really hoping they don't fall off the edge. If they die, they die, and I will have to hunt for new camels, but I'm going to I'm going to try to keep you guys alive. Maybe I should walk them through. Just with saddles. That, see, that would be the safer option. That would be the safer option. I'm not going to do the safer option. See, I did intentionally make the pathway three wide just so that- Hey! Just, <laughs> just so there was less chance- Come on, buddy. Come on. Just so there was less chance of them walking off the edge of the pathway. Now I'm wondering if I should have made it four wide. It's fine. I'm just going to keep a very close eye on them while walking. Okay, I have to hope that no uh, enemies spawned here. I don't see any, so I think we're okay. Because I don't really want to deal with wither skeletons right now. Do you have, do you have to walk on the edge? Is that, is that, really? 
You are giving me anxiety. No, okay. <gasps> oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no. I can't, I can't help it. I can't. <gasps> it's okay, it's okay. Oh, you're okay. You're okay, okay. You're, you're hurting, so don't hurt again. No, no, no sitting down in the middle of the nether. Come, no, come on. <laughs> Come on. <sighs> so, new problem. This pathway is actually only th two blocks wide because it was uh, an old pathway of mine. So that's not great. <laughs> that's pretty bad. Um, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get, oops, I'm gonna get on this one, excuse me, and lead this one behind us. And we'll see if that works. This is lovely. This is, this is lovely. This is, ah, dang it. <laughs> Phew. Okay. We have two camels. One of them is definitely pretty hurt. I think you feed the, ah, ow. That, okay. Ow. <laughs> that was rude. Anyways. Yeah, so this guy, this guy right here was the one who got hit by the blaze. I fully thought he was gonna die because he was burning for a while. So I guess camels have pretty decent HP. Also, hi sniffers. They have not grown up yet. I haven't, I haven't been loading uh, this part of the world for very long. Ha, ha, creepers. So they'll, they'll probably grow up in this episode at some point. Oh, also, hi friend, I found a jelly. Well, I was, uh, she was in the village right by the portal uh, with the first camel and I brought her home. So we have a Jelly now. I haven't named her. I will probably just name her Jelly because that's who she is, but she's lovely. She's adorable and I love her very much. For those of you who have no idea what I'm talking about by saying I found a Jelly, uh, Jelly is actually one of the Minecraft cats that was added. Um, and she is the real life cat of the Minecraft YouTuber Good Times with Scar, um, who is one of my favorite Minecraft creators. And his cat is absolutely adorable and was added back to Minecraft. I don't remember what year, but she's, I have actually never found her in another world that I've, in any other world I've played on. So I'm very excited to actually have her in this one. Okay, we have <laughs> successfully transported two camels quite a ways. It's it's quite a few thousand blocks in that direction, uh, which is why I made the nether pathway. So yeah, we, we made it with both of them surviving, even though I fully thought that one was gonna die. <laughs> So I'm glad they didn't. Now, my plan for the enclosure is it's gonna be a decent size. Uh, it's, it's not gonna be a tiny little thing like that. Again, this, this village is kind of a work in progress. I want to continue adding more detail and more life and more character. Um, so I'm gonna go for a similar style to my villager trading hall, which is still kind of technically unfinished. At least the interior is. But if you remember over there, we used, I kind of made like a thatched roof sort of, sort of thing. I used, I used fences to, <coughs> to fill in up here and I made this kind of thatched roof or like canopy roof sort of effect. I'm gonna go with that uh, for something like that. So there'll, it'll, it'll essentially be a layout similar to this one, just a lot bigger. So there will be a well or a drinking trough of some sort. There'll be a covered section, an enclosure where they can uh, go out of the sun if they need to, out of the elements, whatever. And so that'll be the thatched roof section. And then there'll be a wider area where they can just kinda hang out. I'm definitely gonna be utilizing some of the new pots. Uh, I mean, I put one in the sniffer enclosure, but that enclosure is just temporary. Uh, so I'm gonna be making more pots and stuff. And I collected some extra terracotta and I'm even gonna try my hand at building some custom palm trees, <laughs> which I'm nervous about because palm trees are kind of weird to build. Uh, I've practiced a little bit on a creative world. So I have the idea of how they work in my head but I'm, I'm very much going to be winging it. If it turns out well, if I like them, I'm going to add more of them uh, around the village. And I think that's really going to add some color and some texture and just some character to the village as a whole. 
In the last episode, I asked you all to give me names for the sniffers, because we got the two sniffers there, and obviously they need names. I need you guys to give me suggestions for names. I only got one suggestion, but it did give me an idea of what to name the second one, because I think it works really well together. So the suggested name, which I think is fantastic, is Truffle. And I think to go with Truffle, the other one's name, Snuffle. Truffle and Snuffle. All right, <gasps> ooh, they've grown up. <gasps> oh, they're big boys now. Oh, look at them. Oh, 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 they're big. <laughs> Oh, <gasps> Sploot. Sploot. Oh, Sploot. Oh, oh, and you dug up a flower. <gasps> a pitcher pod. Thank you. I love when they Sploot. <laughs> they are so big. Ooh, two pitcher pods. Thank you. They're, they're just, they're so big. I, I got so used to them being small and now they're just huge and they're, they're kind of extra, they're like big dogs, you know, like big dogs, they're adorable and they're puppies, but then they're big and they're just giant puppies. I think that's what these guys are. Okay, what, what do we have? Truffle, all right, you're gonna be Truffle. You're the one who gave me a flower first. Hi, Truffle. And Snuffle. Hi, Snuffle. I think I'm gonna plant one of these pitcher pods in here. Again, this is just a temporary enclosure, but it's kind of just gonna be a fun experimental. Oh, can you not plant it? Wait, how do you plant these? Do they have to be next to water? Okay, maybe I won't plant one in here. Oh wait, I think it has to be on tilled dirt. Aha, yes. So it has like a funky like turnip looking <laughs> shape to it once it's first planted, um, but you'll see I'm sure I'll come back later in the episode and you'll see that it turns into actually a really gorgeous plant. Uh, I love I love the look of the two new flowers that these sniffers dig up. They're very colorful and have a lot of character and texture to them and obviously they're a bit harder to get than all the other flowers just because you have to wait for these guys to snuffle them up high. <laughs> This is very similar to being in a room with big dogs who are just trying to sniff your face and I love it. We have finished our little enclosure over here, plus a, bo ow, a bonus palm tree. I'm, I think I'm happy with how this turned out. Uh, palm trees are really difficult to build, especially in survival. I fiddled around in creative a bunch first, and it's a lot easier to place the leaves, but in survival, it involves a lot of scaffolding and trial and error. But I think this is a decent, a decent palm tree for our camels here. Uh, you might have been able to see in the time lapse that they kept on escaping <laughs> as I was building the enclosure and building the palm tree, and that's because I had a lot of little areas, which I think are all gone now, where a block would be connected to a wall block, and then you could get on the edge of that wall block and hop up and over. So these guys are escape artists, but I think they're all secure now. I've tried like riding on top of them and finding like running into every single wall to see if they can get out and I don't think they can. But yeah, it's a very simple enclosure. Obviously, everything in this village I'm keeping pretty simplistic. You can see I'm I'm building another palm tree over there. It's not finished yet. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm gonna add a couple more. I have kind of placed some logs around the village just to mark where I want them to be. That one is not done yet, as you can tell. Anyways, pretty simple in here. I've added some pots. Uh, I've made a few with designs here. So I've used up a bunch of my 
uh, whatever they're called, sherds, pottery sherds, just to make these two pots because I think they really, they really add to the look. I've got a nice little arched entranceway here. It's a little, sh I could make it a little taller if I wanted to, but I think, I think this is fine. Again, I'm not going for fancy. I've got a watering trough right here. The water does kind of act weirdly because it doesn't go up to the walls. That's fine. If I waterlog the walls, the water will show on the other side, so I'm not going to bother with that. They have a nice little kind of shelter here, which technically doesn't protect you from the elements, but it's just about the vibes. It's about the aesthetic. It's it, use your imagination. Um, I kind of dropped it down by one just to add a bit of texture and so that they could fit really, because if I left it this high, I mean, I think they can technically fit, but it would be a tight squeeze. It wouldn't be very comfortable. So this makes a little bit more sense, I think. Unfortunately, tragedy did strike during the building of this. I was doing a lot of flying up and down over here, out landing on trees like this. You can see I had some jungle trees growing over here uh, so I could harvest more wood and leaves as needed for the palm trees. And at one point I flew over and I tried to land on this tree right here and I came in a little too fast. I crashed. I died. My stuff went everywhere. I was like, oh, whatever. That's fine. I'll pick it all up. Little did I know there's a cactus. There's a cactus. And in case you didn't know, uh, items break when they hit a cactus. See if I can see if I can hit it from here. Ah, so close. Eh, no, come on. And it's gone. Completely gone. And so I picked up all of my stuff. It kind of sprayed everywhere. I got my wings. I got my armor. I got everything. And then I couldn't find my netherite pickaxe. <laughs> I was looking everywhere. I turned on hitboxes. I was scanning. And it wasn't until I went back up on the tree and looked down and saw the cactus that I realized it was gone forever. Just poof broken in an instant. So I'm down to one pickaxe, just my silk touch. Um, I will aim to rebuild my old netherite one. Problem is, netherite is now a lot more expensive. Uh, in the 1.20 update, you have to actually go to a bastion and get a netherite upgrading card thing. I don't actually know what they're called. So ugh, I should have done some farming before updating, <laughs> so I could have uh, been a bit more prepared. That's okay. So obviously I have a few more palm trees left to build, which I'm gonna try to do by the end of this episode, but also they're really time consuming and I do wanna get this episode out soon. So that's kind of why I started recording in the middle of an unfinished palm tree. Uh, I'll get around to it when I can. So I'm just gonna spend the rest of the episode doing a few little, a few little things running around. First things first, ooh, thank you very much. Uh, we're gonna get a baby sniffer. We've got these two, they're fully grown, and we have the torch flower seeds, hi Truffle, which they really like, so we'll give you one, and you another, and then they'll drop another egg for me to stick on the ground, and we'll wait for it, and we'll have a baby stiffer. Boop. Where is it? There it is. There we go, we'll stick you right there. Perfect. Now we'll have a third baby sniffer. If anyone wants to name it, feel free to leave a name suggestion in the comments. I always like getting name ideas. All right, what I think we're gonna do next is we are gonna go into the nether. Uh, I'm gonna dump all of my excess materials away. We're gonna head into the nether. We might die. <laughs> I hope not, but you never know. Uh, because A, I wanna see if I can find a bastion and get one of those uh, netherite upgrade things. Oh, also I found some of this. Did I show you this? I genuinely can't remember. Um, but yeah, I want to go into Bastion, get one of the upgrade uh, card things. I should really learn what they're called. Uh, and I also want to go back into that nether fortress I found and keep exploring in there to see if I can find a rib armor trim. I believe that's what it's called. Whoa! Hello! That was... Oh, 
boy, there's not even a blaze spawner. Why did three of them spawn right there? Okay, that's that's fine. Just the the welcoming committee. Lovely. Oh. There's a bastion right next to this fortress. Well, that makes our uh, errands very convenient. Woo! Hi! Wasn't... I mean, I shouldn't be too surprised to see you here, but at the same time, that was a bit of a jump scare. Okay, I think this fortress is a bust in terms of finding that armor, uh, armor trim. Which is unfortunate, especially because this is only the second fortress I've ever found. <laughs> there is Sebastian. All right, this this will be this will be interesting. Hopefully, this isn't one I've already explored. I mean, I explored some bastions a few episodes back, but that was over that direction more. This is yeah. I have no idea what type of bastion this is. Okay. Oh, it's the one with the lava. Things. Yeah, see, I know things. It's got the lava things. They all have lava things. I, this one has those lava things. Oh, I already- okay, I already had that advancement, but okay. <laughs> I know that my advancements just kind of randomly reset sometimes, so I don't question it. It's fine. I'll take it. I'm afraid. Is there anything extremely valuable on me? Nah, I mean, other than like my tools and my weapons, but you know, if I'm gonna be re-building my pickaxe anyways, I should be fine. I just realized I think I have hostile mob sounds down. <gasps> when I have them down, they don't even show up on the subtitles. Yep. Okay, but that still didn't- Oh, I have subtitles off. I did not realize I had uh, all of my stuff turned off. There we go. I was like, this is really quiet. Now I'm terrified. See, I don't particularly want to die, is the thing. Actually, okay, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna tunnel over here. You might be wondering why, why? <laughs> the reason is because I know where the chests are. Ish, sort of. See? There's the chests. Okay. Here's the thing. If they notice me opening this, they might shoot me. <laughs> it's okay. <gasps> yes! Smithing template. Okay. Phew. Okay, this is actually working. Wow. And ancient debris. Wonderful. Golden apple. Uh, I'll take the bone blocks. Those are nice. Okay. Oh, hi. You noticed me. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Okay. Should be another chest over here. Am I wrong? Hi, friend. You can't get to me, so I'm I'm very confident right now because they can't actually reach me. Actually, I can reach them. Okay. All right. I found another chest. I had to kill a lot of guys to get it and this one is a little further away from this wall which is a bit of a problem so this could be tricky oh yes oh yes pig step okay i think i might already have pig step but that's fine uh, all right more gilded blackstone i don't really need any of these okay is there another chest here or is it just the one okay i killed all the brutes as you can tell <laughs> Okay. Anything good? Ooh, well, I'll take that. You know, that could get me started on my journey to recovering all that I've lost. I don't want to play too greedy here, um, because obviously I don't want to lose this. <laughs> or this, or this. I, these are all pretty valuable items. Uh, so I am trying to be careful, but I should at least take a look over there. Did you guys just see that? <laughs> I think Piglin literally just walked off the edge. Okay, that's that's fine. Alright, I'm not seeing any chests within easy 
access, so I'm gonna call it here. There's a lot of brutes. I'm gonna come back at some point, uh, but I really just came here for the one upgrade template, so I think I can call it quits. This was much less eventful than the last time I raided a bastion on this channel. Uh, <laughs> That was- unfortunately that video actually got very few views, so I have the feeling not a lot of you saw that. Um, but in case you missed it, uh, quite a while back I did raid a bastion and it went really badly. <laughs> uh, it was- it was just a death loop. It was- it was an experience, but you know, I still- I still got some good stuff from it, so it's fine. It's fine. But I'm glad that this this adventure did not turn out the same as that one did. Now, before we end today's episode, I want to take a look at these armor trims that we have here. So I've got myself a smithing table because I didn't have one previously. And we're just going to take a look at what they look like. I'm going to be totally honest here. I personally don't really care a lot about the armor trims. Uh, I think they look good on netherite armor. I don't love how they look on diamond armor, so I'm probably not going to use any of them today, but I just want to get a look and see kind of what the shape is, what the kind of design is. So we'll start with the dune one here, and you can use all sorts of different colors to go in. Now, I tried using an amethyst crystal cluster thing and it wouldn't let me. I thought, like, is that not one of the options? I'm confused. I don't know why I can't use amethyst. Whatever. It won't let me put it in. But we got, oh, okay. I don't think I like this one. <laughs> I mean, the green doesn't go well. Ah, I don't, I don't love how it, it looks like a target. Like that, that doesn't feel very safe. Let's see how it looks in gold. Actually, it kind of looks nice in the gold on the, on the diamond. But again, I think all of the trims look best on netherite armor, personally. And obviously it looks different on the other parts of the armor. This is just my spare chest plate, so. Okay, this is the coast. It's the one I have the most of. This is nice. This one is pretty simple. I like it. Ooh, actually, I kind of like that in the green. That's pretty nice. Can I really not? Why? Okay, I don't know why I can't use the amethyst. I thought I could. Gold. I think... I think if you're using diamond, gold is kind of your best choice. I feel like that looks the nicest. All right, and this is the wild armor trim. Ooh. Okay, it's very, hang on. It's very similar to the coast. Because it's got that curve. Wait, 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 wait. It's very similar to coast. I can barely see a difference. <laughs> But I think I kind of I kind of like this one. Again, it's simple. It's there's not much to it, but it's nice. Okay, I'm quickly going to take a look at these on the other armor pieces as well just to see. So, let's see. We'll do them all in gold just to check. There's the helmet for uh Dune. Not bad, not bad. Let's see. Coast. Oh, I like coast. That's almost like a crown. That's kind of nice. That would, again, that would look really good in netherite armor. Wild? It's hard to see that one. It's okay. <laughs> yeah, mm. Don't love that, not gonna lie. Not a huge fan of that design. That, okay, that's not bad. That's not bad. It kind of, <laughs> you know what it's reminding me of? It's reminding me of those, like... Uh, those zip-off jeans or pants, cargo pants, that you can just, like, zip off to turn into shorts from, like, the mid-2000s, early 90s, whatever kind of vibe. That's, that's the vibe these are giving me. <laughs> okay, wild armor. That's kind of nice. This, this is a bit more structured feeling. I kind of like that. These are pretty nice. I, I, I don't hate that. I, I don't mind that. That's not bad. Coast. Okay. Yeah. Nice, like, upper, upper detail. And wild. Okay. It's a lower detail. Yeah. Not bad. Not bad. Fortunately, that is all I have time for today. I think it's been a pretty successful episode. Not a ton has been done. As you can see, I have not finished the palm trees yet. I'll get around to that. But hey, we built a very cute little addition to our village. It's small, but I like how it looks. I think it adds to the vibes. And we have a nice home for our camels, plus the start of our palm tree decorations. I think that'll really fill the village out as I add more in. 
We had some nice nether exploration. I'm a bit disappointed that we couldn't find the rib armor trim in the nether fortress. Oh look, baby stiffer, it hatched. But that's okay because we did find the netherite template. I will have to raid more bastions if I want to find more and upgrade the rest of my gear, but that's okay, one, one is a good start. If you enjoyed this video, I would really appreciate it if you could leave a like, leave a comment, just say hi, how's it going? It's nice to hear from you guys. I like seeing how you guys enjoyed the video and hey, it really helps the channel out. Thank you all very much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.